Alright, hey guys, what's up? Another part in here. Um, so this time we're going to work on a, uh, a utilities file for uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so this is going to be inside a, a utilities folder. And in here we need to make uh, init.py so it registers as module and then we're going to write the actual file in here so the first one I want to do is a, is a clear screen function and that's going to that's a it's an argument just in case we can actually clear the screen it'll just print a hundred lines so um, but hopefully that doesn't happen so you need to import the operating system module and then if os.name equals POSIX, which is um, it's Unix, Linux, Mac, all those, um, then just do clear, because that's the command you do. Um, otherwise, if it's uh, in nt dos c, uh, then we'll just do the CLS command. Otherwise, then we just do the um, the print a new line times lines. Don't actually need these. Yeah. So that is all we need to do, and then we're just gonna write this the py oh. that is the wrong folder all right there we go okay um so yeah so the next thing we want to do is a um a yes or no function we're just going to call that uh yes or no and then we're going to have a prompt and we'll just set that to yes or no, I guess um, okay so we need to get an answer so just do the prompt and this needs to be in a loop so we're gonna until we get a guaranteed yes or no answer we're just gonna keep getting the input for as long as we can. So we want to make sure that it is uh, there's no extra spaces and it's in lowercase. So we have a pretty raw form of the answer, as raw as we can get. And then here we're going to have an array of no answers and yes answers. Okay. So for now we'll just put in uh, yes, y, ye and let's yeah we'll just leave it like that and here we'll just have no and nope that's all I can think of um okay so uh so if we if our answer is in the yes array then we have a yes answer so just return true um Otherwise, if it's in no, then they said no. Uh, otherwise, they didn't put in a proper response, and we just ask them again. And um, if you want to do a re like a return answer, you can just do return false. Um, but that should never ever return. Uh, yeah. So that's that's a utility file. So if we have enough time here, yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna see if we can start working on making a uh, name getting function. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. And we're gonna space this out here. All right. So we're gonna have a input function. So this will just be. 
prompt. Nah, we don't need that. Okay. Um, so we want to do name equals input prompt. So same thing here, except uh, this time we can just return it stripped because we want people to be en to be able to enter um, like lowercase and uppercase answers. So we don't want to lower it. So that's that's all we need there. Um, and next we're going to have a get name function, and that's just going to return the player's name. So we'll do uh, one sec. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so let's say temp name is blank. Um, forever loop this temp name equals name input what is your name so this is this is like, like the same thing that we just wrote pretty much um, so if their name the length of their name is shorter than one then just skip doing any further checking and ask them again because one character is too short. Alright, so we're going to make another variable here called yes. And we're going to ask a yes or no question. Uh, temp name plus is that your name? So it'll it'll print their name, so it'll say, you know, Let's say John. Is that your name? And so it'll look like that, but that's how we do it here. Um, so if if yes, if they said yes, then return temp name. Uh, otherwise, then well. Continue. Didn't get a name. And yeah, that's that's about all the checking we really need to do. So let's go ahead and we'll put this in here. And let's say um, player dot name equals get name. So we'll go ahead and try this out. Uh, all right. So we'll just say John. All right. Ah, we need to import this. So from utilities import util. Although we could just do that probably. Uh, John. No, apparently I didn't pick that up. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Apparently it's not reading this. Let's see. Um. Ah. That's right. Somehow I always forget the syntax for that. All right. Hope this works. Uh, yes. All right. And there we go. So this takes us to our normal prompt. Um. That's. That's it. So there we go. It's a sweet way to do it. And while you're at it, you get a nice yes or no thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for this video. So do you guys?